hi guys what's going on welcome back to this brand new android studio tutorial and today in this video i will show you that how to use a custom styled list view in our android application so let's go to the android studio and as you can see now we have a list view layout file and we, in the previous two tutorials we have added the list view and we actually use it the stock android list view style so in this video we are going to use a custom style for this list view so let's go to the main activity and as you can see in our previous video we have added this stock android list view style so in this video we are going to replace this with the one that we actually just going to create so to begin with all you have to do is that we have to set, just right click on the layout folder and we are we have to create a new style for the list view so go to new then click on the layer resource file now i want to name my list view layout file as list view then underscore style now maybe this can be linear layout click the ok and now what we have to do is that we have to just press the windows plus r on the keyboard to bring up the run in case of you if you are in the windows then type percentage then temp then percentage and once you're done just click on the ok in case if you're on the mac then you can google it i don't know where it's actually is going to be inside the mac so anyway if you are on the mac all you have to do is you have to just point the folder called android there will be a folder called sdk just open that platforms okay so from here you have to open the latest one in my case i have the 26 android 26 so opening that and there will be a folder called data and inside that we have the rest which we have seen inside the android studio so this is the stock area of the android and all we have to do is we have to simply find the folder called layout so all these things are discussed in the previous video in case if you haven't watched that then go and watch that and uh, yeah now let's go and find the symbol we have the symbol list item just open that and now you can see all we have to do is that we have to just copy every single line from here just close that going back to android studio so now we have a newly created list view style.xml file all we have to do is press ctrl a and select all and replace it with the one that we have just copied from the stk folder now what we have to do is in case if you go to any kind of errors then you can simply remove that and type so the reason why we actually have to create a custom list view style is just because we cannot directly access the list view from here like if I, for example if i want to just change the style of this text view of the each of each of the item from the list view then if i just try to add the android then text style and you can see there is no such kind of uh, attributes available for the list view so to do that we have to just manually just create a list view style and now from here we can even add that so if you are adding the text style then you have to just remove this text appearance if it is there so then text style you can see i want to change it into bold also i want to use maybe like the color android text color as something like the ascent color so this is going to be the ascent color okay now gravity into center vertical minimum height and also if i want i can also change the text size into something like 20 sp so it's all up to you but i never suggest going with a custom text style i prefer using the default text style for this text view so now we are ready and it's a really quick tutorial and now what we have to do is that finally we have to change this stock android list view style into the one that we just created so r dot then layout dot and list view style okay now that's it now finally let's go and try this in a real android device okay guys so we have the android app in the android device and as you can see we have the result from the screen itself we have a custom list view with the color as ascend and also we have the items from the list view shown as a bold text and that's it so hope you guys enjoy watching this tutorial and if this video was helpful for you then please hit that thumbs up button and also if you are new to this channel then hit that subscribe button as always thanks for watching and i hope to see you in my next video peace out